Welcome back for Lesson 2. Just to recap what we learned on Lesson 1. On Lesson 1, we learned about the design store and our library, along with our different cut types. And um, for Lesson 2, we're going to learn about working with our own graphic files. So, once you find the file that you want, or if you have something saved on your computer already, like a JPEG, we want to open that. So we're going to go to this icon to open files. We're going to find our file located on our computer and we're going to double click to open. Now, at this point in time, Studio does not see this as a cut pattern. Studio only sees this as a picture. So if I was to cut at this point, the only thing this machine would cut would be a square. It cannot tell what the graphic is. So we need to teach the program what we want to cut. So in order to do that, we're going to use our trace feature, which is located here. Then we're going to click on select the trace area, and then we're going to come to our trace, hold, and drag till we got everything covered that we want to trace. Now, it will highlight yellow what it thinks you want traced. It will trace on both the inside and outside of the yellow lines. Silhouette is colorblind, so it cannot distinguish the red from the green. However, it can tell the different shades. So what we need to do over here is go to these settings and I'm not going to get into too much detail about what each one of these are, but your goal is to get this yellowed until you're happy with where you want to trace. So you may want to fool around with these until you get a good yellow coverage. So now that it's nice and highlighted, this is what Silhouette sees. We're going to go over the different trace types. There's three different trace types. Um, this one is Trace and Detach, and if you notice on these pictures, they all have white backgrounds. Um, you may not use this often, but we're going to go through it. When I Trace and Detach, it's going to detach everything that's not highlighted from the picture. So we'll go ahead and click on Trace and Detach. point in time, when I go to separate it, it has taken the white background off, and now it has separated each little piece individually. The second type of trace that we'll go through, which these two will probably be the most that you'd use, is trace outer edge. Trace outer edge is going to trace just the outside of the yellow highlighted area. So when we click on that, our trace result would be just a circle. The second trace, or I should say the final trace, which you'll probably use the most, is trace the entire graphic. So everything that's yellow is going to be traced. So when we click on trace, our result will be an outline of everything that was yellowed. And I'll go fill this in just to show you what it would look like. And that's what our trace pattern would be on there. Now Silhouette sees this as a cuttable file. So if I was to go send this to Silhouette, it would cut everything. Now I can tell Silhouette what I want to cut and what I don't. So if I have this laid out on my mat, I can say I don't want to cut this. So I'd go to select it and hit no cut. However, it would cut these. Now that I've told Silhouette what I want to cut, I can tell it how I want to cut it. So I can choose this graphic here. And as you notice, at this point in time, each one of these is separate graphics to Silhouette as I'm pulling it apart.
However, this graphic silhouette sees as one piece, which I can separate it into multiple pieces by selecting it, right-clicking, and go to Release Compound Path. And this tells Silhouette that each piece is individual, that it's not one graphic put together. So here you'll notice, let me clear the color out for you. So here, now you'll notice everything is individual pieces. So in telling Silhouette what to cut at this point in time, or how to cut it, I can say I want just this to be a perforated edge, so I would select my graphic and do a perforated edge. Typically I would use this if I was doing a fold line. I wouldn't perforate this design. Or I could say cut the entire thing. Now in this graphic, let me put it back the way it originally was. Okay. Um, when it's one whole graphic, you would think, and this is a common error or uh, problem some people have, that if they say cut the outside edge, that it would cut just the circle. But remember I said Silhouette sees this as one whole graphic, so it's not cutting just the edge cut. Regardless, it's going to cut the entire pattern. If I did want it to cut just the edge, what I would have to do is select it, right-click, release compound path. Now I'm telling Silhouette just to cut the outside edge graphic, so to speak. Or I could tell Silhouette to cut the entire piece. So if you ever go to a graphic and you try to hit cut outer edge and you have that issue, Go ahead and select it and try to release the compound path, and that may resolve. Um, this concludes Lesson 2. On Lesson 3, we'll get into uh, working with your text. See you next lesson.